Hey friends, Ryder from Point of Life Wellness here to show you one of my favorite self-tissue mobilizations to relieve calf cramping and calf strain. So if you're a runner or soon to be a runner since the season is getting a little nicer, this is one of those exercises that you're going to want to do before and after to break up any scar tissue, to flush out any lactic acid, and to get a little bit more length and flexibility to your calf. We call this one the bone saw. Reason being, you're going to use the bone of your shin across your calf to saw through all those knots and spasms in that tissue. Pretty easy one to do. I'm going to do it on the table here. You can do it on the floor. You're going to hop up to a, an all fours position and you're very easily going to take one leg, cross that shin over and start to sit back down on it. All right, so we can keep our hands on the floor and this will allow us to have some base to change the amount of pressure we have. And from here, all I'm going to start by doing is rocking myself back and letting the weight of my body and my thigh press that shin into my calf. Let it hold for a second and relax. Come out, come back down into it again. Rock in. And come back out. A little bit lower now. Rocking in. Come back out. Not looking to move, just get a direct compression as I put my weight down, this bone is pushing straight down into my calf. I stay straight, static pressure down into that bone. So this one isn't so much of a bone saw, it's more of like a bone guillotine. But you get the point. We want to work all the way from the top of the calf, right behind the knee, all the way down towards the Achilles. Being mindful and taking note of any areas where we feel more tenderness is that's areas of deranged tissue. Healthy tissue is not painful tissue. So just squish. Painful tissue is deranged tissue, meaning there's been some damage to the structure of that muscle. And it needs a little bit of extra TLC to correct itself. So here's where things get funky. After we get through one time, I'm gonna come up all fours, just give it a little bit of stretch out. And then if anything crazy, move that foot back and forth, give it a little rock around. Just get some blood flow moving through it. We're going to go back into that same position again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work to try to rock into each of these. So you can imagine as I start to kind of take my foot, if you watch this foot here, it's pointing down. As I push down, I'm turning into it. And I'm turning into it. So it's pushing down and now it's smearing. Pushing down and smearing. And I'll do the same thing all the way down that calf. And you'll notice... This one is a little bit more intense. If I didn't do this regularly, I'd probably be going, ah, right now. But I do this one pretty regularly, pretty used to it. It can be really intense, so make sure you govern how much pressure you have going down into it appropriately. Don't want to crush into it. Just trying to separate those fibers a little bit. Getting all the way down to that Achilles area. It's getting a little more tender for me down here. A little denser tissue. And now we're finally going to go into the bone saw. So again, we're going to reset those tissues again. Get a little stretch in. Move it around. Let's get a little time without some pressure on it. Ah, it feels good to get the blood back in. Now we're going to go across. And now the bone saw. I'm actually going to use this leg to saw back and forth now. So as my calf goes down this direction, this bone is cutting back and forth across it now going side to side, we call this cross fiber massage. Rocking back and forth. Again, I can gauge my pressure by how much body weight I push down across it. And it is a little uncoordinated. It's gonna take you a little while to get used to. Does it have to be exactly side to side? No, it could be little circles or zigzags. One of my favorite calf exercises, you need no equipment. It's one of the most beneficial that you can do. You can do it literally anywhere you go because you almost always have your legs with you wherever you go. Um, and it's super effective. You can do it beforehand or after your workouts. I would suggest before your workout to not go down so deep and compressive. Stay a little bit more superficial, a little more light. Um, not have so much body weight down into it because you're not trying to grind and bruise up those muscles before you go out for your run or your cycle. Just kind of freshen it up, get the old blood out, circulate some new blood in. After your workout, however, feel free to go in deep.
the deeper you go, the more you relax those tissues, get more blood flow into them, get that lactic acid to flush itself out, get you fresher, make those cramps go away, and reduce that tension and tightness after your workouts and in between your workouts. That's the bone saw. If you like it, remember to like, subscribe, share with a runner friend or a cyclist friend that you may have. And remember, leave me your comments below. Let me know how much better the bone saw made you feel.